Hey, EDU618, uh, Max Applegate here. Um, just wanted to tell you today about Google Docs. I'm sure most of you are familiar um, what with all the Google apps out there. Uh, this one just seems to be about the most uh, useful, I don't know, in today's um, world of doing homework or uh, working on projects with other people. It just seems to be a new... Um, 2010's way of using the cloud and uh, pretty much working on documents uh, as well as other things to collaboratively get stuff done. Um, today I'll be talking about some Google Docs secrets. Well, <laughs> they aren't so much secrets. Uh, they're just things that might not be known to everyone or uh, they could just be hidden. There's so many different uh, buttons on Google's pages that stuff gets lost in the shuffle. Um, first, I'll tell you about drag and drop. This is um, pretty much how it starts off in Google Docs. You have things that you've been working on. Um, now I have one document uh, that I had, uh, just a sample document, to show you uh, about dragging and dropping. It really uh, allows you to not have to go to File, Open, uh, to open up um, another document, or Insert Image to have to uh, put in pictures. So instead, um, you can just go to like a, any Google image search. Um, I did one on Apple. And just select your image. And you can click on it. Drag right up into your tab on Chrome, for example. And any place you want to put it in, um, the image automatically uh, inserts itself into your um, text. You know, you can always resize them, as this one is obviously way too large. Um, but it really is a more visual way of doing things, instead of uh, the old way of trying to fit images into your text in, say, Microsoft Word. Um, and you can do the same thing with uh, files, text files. Um, it's more of an iconic-based um, uh, system, um, just user-friendly altogether. But my second secret for Google Docs would be the comments. Um, you can see this right up here in comments. Uh, you can choose to show your comment stream. This is like um, Gchat or any sort of messenger or um, chatting platform where you can, in real time, um, you know, talk to your uh, fellow collaborators or even just put comments in for your, um, for your own use. It's really useful because it, it's almost like uh, adding tagging or um, just notes to remember uh, certain things that you're typing on or, or even just um, collecting your thoughts with. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, and I would say that I would try to use this not in the normal way of um, using a Google Doc with my English students, but instead I would choose a drawing maybe. Uh, drawings can be helpful just because it's again more of a visual way of learning. Um, I already have a drawing started. This will be um, under Google Docs as you can see there are many tools and drawing is just one of them but I thought this could be utilized um, maybe to uh, use collaboratively. Um, it's, it's more of a, a way to get your kids interested in working together uh, and even learning how to use new tools. For example, um, adding in a text box. I mean, it, it couldn't be any simpler uh, as we're all familiar with things like PowerPoint. But usually um, it's not uh, so user-friendly. Google Docs uh, really wants you to do this uh, easily and fast. So, um, just saying that this is, <laughs> spelling error, um, a visual uh, type of uh, learning style. I would be able to um, choose any different type of font. Um, it's really set up way better than Microsoft Word. And you can even fill in the boxes with any color. And uh, the text color you can also change. It's really just a a great way of putting together something that's almost um, like an art project but it can be obviously um, rendered in real time and worked on collaboratively with uh, um, among classmates um, also I just wanted to uh, make sure that 
it's something that isn't just a frivolous tool in an English classroom. It's more of a um, something to emphasize that uh, you know we live in the 2010, so it's about using cloud services, and Google definitely has um, servers to be able to uh, host everyone's projects uh, through Google Docs. So saving is um, one of the real uh, aspects that you know you just want to encourage your students to be able to do that because it's it's like sharing. That would be for outside of the class. Um, inside of the classroom, uh, it could be um, encouraging communication for chatting, like in uh, the Google Doc. Um, comments are always a great way to get your students to share their ideas and not really be afraid to talk to one another. And with this, you can summarize uh, any reading assignments that would we do that night for homework. Um, it's something that you could do, even group journaling, um, if they're comfortable for discussing ideas for uh, their class the next day. Um, and I think that uh, things in Google Docs aren't just for uh, the novelty of it all. It's really um, a collaborative way of learning. Uh, it's creative. Um, it's language friendly. You can translate uh, these Google Docs into any language that Google offers. Um, it's far reaching. That's a different way of learning. You can publish to the web and it's worldwide. It'll really make your students feel great that they have something that the whole world will be able to look at. In synchronous, as I've been repeating, uh, it's something that does happen in real time. This is really uh, a great leap forward in um, creating documents together before it used to have to utilize email or um, just choosing different ways to get around creating a document together. This is much faster. And uh, also, this is an example that I found. Um, it's not from Google Docs drawings or um, documents. It's um, through the spreadsheet. So um, this is obviously for a Spanish class, but um, it just shows that you don't have to stick to the boring old Excel file setup. This even says that it supports HTML and it's uh, again a visual way for students to learn. Obviously I think that's important to know. Um, other than that, Google Docs it may not be new to you, but um, it sure is helpful. Thanks for listening.